Historically, if we were watching this game 100 years ago, the Prague derby would have been taking place right here. Or maybe somewhere there in the park or somewhere there. But anyway, somewhere in this vicinity. Right, now the first recorded fixture between the two sides dates back to 1896. Now the story goes that the full-time score was nil-nil, but Sparta Prague had scored after the final whistle. Something like Man United versus Brighton, right? A couple of years back in the Premier League. Now at the time, both captains of each side had to agree that the goal was to be given. Sparta Prague, obviously they scored, they wanted the goal. Slavia Prague, the captain, he didn't want to have it. He wasn't having it. He didn't give the goal. They turned their backs on each other and that sort of... When it comes to assessing the historical factors of football rivalries in the same city, there is almost 99.9% .9 chance there are socio-economic factors that have led to such rivalry in the past. Right now, it's quite simple. We're walking across the bridge in the Vladava River, as you can see. And what is this, the significance of this river? Well, basically, it's very simple, man. To explain the his history of both teams in terms of politics, Sparta, located right behind me on the east side of the city, in a neighborhood known as Letna, historically a working class neighborhood, right? Slavia, on the other hand, are located on the other side of the bridge, in the west side of the city, in the Vino Radi Vrishovica area. Historically, Slavia was a team of the intellectuals of the bourgeoisie, and Sparta, the working man's team. Normally when you come here there's never really any police. It's and but in the center I'm not gonna lead you up close where you can see all the Sparta Prague fans. So basically Staromeska, this is their meeting point for the derby, then they're going to take the metro from Staromeska to Zeloscale and walk to Eden. So it's all meant to cast them to see their numbers, to see how they're looking. They look like they're in strength, all dressed in black, a proper away day on the derby. <laughs> Now we're actually on our way to Eden and, and yeah man, the atmosphere is building, the adrenaline is already rushing inside me and we're going to try to catch them coming into Eden and you can see the whole... I always sometimes time some free nights, free nights grand. This whole road gets closed off in a minute as the wave fans come in with loads and swarms of police on either side. You can see the police just to the left here. outside the Eden Arena now, it's, it's busy, it's packed, it's still over an hour to go to kick off. We're just here waiting for the away fans to arrive. But the dress code today is all white. All the Slavia fans have this white choreography. The police have put the transit vans in front to block the view.
adrenaline rush is done now. The last bit is to get into the stadium, enjoy the derby, enjoy the pyro.
Great Bobby, I really hope you enjoyed and we'll be doing some.